Hi, I'm Chantal Nicholson, Chef Patron of Treadwells in London. And today I'm going to be showing you how to cook monkfish. So we've got a beautiful monkfish tail which we're going to be serving with an anchovy aioli and some fresh asparagus. So here we have a monkfish tail that's been skinned and the head's been removed. I'm going to just take off a little bit of the membrane that's remaining and then slice it into tranches. So you just want to remove this membrane that you can see here, just with a sharp knife, just under the skin and along. So to cut through the bone, you'll need a serrated knife. If you put the bone at the top of the fish, it's much easier to cut through as well. Next, we're going to salt the fish in rock salt for 10 minutes. This is going to serve a dual purpose by removing some of the moisture, because monkfish can be quite a wet fish, but also season it right the way through. Pop the monkfish in and pack it again with rock salt on top. Make sure you set a timer 10 minutes maximum. So pop it in the fridge, 10 minutes later we can rinse it off. So for the aioli we've got three egg yolks here. I'm going to grate one clove of garlic. We've also got some Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar and a touch of anchovy sauce for a bit of extra zing. So pop the mustard in. Dash of white wine vinegar. And then we're going to whisk it to emulsify and add the oil. I generally tend to use a mix of slightly less intense olive oil, more like a pomace oil, and just finish it with a little olive oil, otherwise it can be a little bit bitter. If you're not a fan of making mayonnaise or aioli by hand, you can use a stick blender and it works really well and a bit quicker. Once the eggs have gone a little bit pale and aerated, we're going to add the oil really slowly to start with. Once it's starting to thicken, you can add the oil a little bit quicker as well because it's already got the first emulsification has, has occurred. That's all of the pomace oil. We're just going to finish with a touch of olive oil to add a bit more richness. And the anchovy sauce. Because the anchovy is quite salty, I'd suggest you taste it before you add any extra seasoning, just to make sure it's not too overly salted. There we have our aioli. So the fish was salting for 10 minutes, we've just rinsed it off and patted it dry. Now we're about to start cooking. So really hot pan, nice foaming butter before we put the monkfish in. So start it off on a high heat and then when it starts to colour just turn it down a little bit. And if you need to cool it down even further to add a touch more butter which will bring the temperature right down. So when you've got a nice golden colour on the bottom of the monkfish, turn it over and cook the other side. And we're going to baste the coloured side as well to get even more golden colour on it. So that's been in the pan both sides for about six to eight minutes. We're going to pop it in the oven, really hot oven, about 200 degrees for about three to four minutes until it's cooked all the way through. So the monkfish has been in for another three minutes. To check and see if it's done, take a metal skewer, pop it down right beside the bone a couple of seconds, pull it out and if it's hot enough to touch, it's ready to go. I like to serve my monkfish on the bone because I feel it gives it a lot more flavour. But if you don't want it that way, just take it off. I'm just going to pop that on the plate. I'm just going to heat up some of the blanched asparagus I prepared earlier in that delicious monkfish butter. that on the plate. And then a really large dollop of the anchovy aioli. And there we have it, the monkfish with asparagus and anchovy aioli.